Hello everyone. Today I will see how to create an organizational structure. Uh, first we will see what is an organizational structure. An organizational structure consists of org unit, job, position, cost center and person. These are the objects. Uh, these are related to each other through relationships object relationships so position is assigned to org, org unit and person that is the holder is assigned to the position so there are two ways to create an organizational structure first is simple maintenance or expert expert mode Today we will see how to create an organization structure through simple maintenance. Now simple maintenance uh, we, uh, we can uh, create through a T code called PPOC underscore old or you can go through SAP menu. Now uh, what is an organization structure? So today we'll, I will show you how to create an org unit, how to assign a position to the org unit and how to assign a holder that is person to the position. Person is not assigned to org unit, person is assigned to position. So for example, org unit here, the org unit is HR department. The position is HR manager and this will be a person who will be assigned to this position that is HR manager. So let's see on the SAP system. So as I told you there are two ways you can go through SAP menu. So in SAP menu you go into you select human resources and then organizational management organizational structure is related to om organizational management then you select expert mode and under expert mode there is simple maintenance now here there are two ways for creating organizational structure expert mode and simple maintenance but this simple maintenance is included in this folder that is expert mode so in simple maintenance these are the t codes this is the t code to create the org unit and the org structure this is to change to make any changes to the existing org unit or structure and this is for display you can view the reporting structure the overview of the org structure so since we are creating the org unit we'll click on create and the second option was the t code ppoc underscore old so when i enter this is the page for creating org unit so we'll go through the sap menu to create the org unit through simple maintenance ppoc underscore old i'm double clicking on this the org unit is uh, same as department so here i'm create uh, putting the short form for this and I'm entering the name HR department I'm putting the date start date this is the end date and I will click on create as you can see the org unit has been created object 
O that is org unit. This is the org unit number. And this is the description of the org unit with the date. Now what I'll do is I will assign a position to this department and then a person to the position. Now here we have to cl click on staff assignment. So here this is create positions and assign holder. We cannot assign a holder to a org unit. So what we are doing is we will create the position first. Now before position we create a job. So what I will do is click on create jobs. Now this job is related to human resource. So I am entering the abbreviation and the name. Human resource management. These are the ex existing jobs like accountant, administrator. Okay, so I have created this job. I'm saving it. So the job has been created. So here is the org unit, then the job, then the position. for the position um, name of the position HR manager I'm creating the position on the same date as the org unit I'm not changing it so I'm saving this So you can see this position is automatically assigned to this org unit. So this position incorporates this org unit. Now I will be assigning the pos a person to this position. So this person will be working in the HR department with this position number. So I will go to PA30 to check an employee to which I can assign the position PA30. Here we maintain the master data. I am entering the employee number. So I'm selecting info type one triple zero one. Enter. So here you can see org assignment is already created because it is ticked here. Okay. So I'm editing this. So here you can see when this employee was hired, he was not assigned any position or org unit. Because the position here mentioned is 999 default position and the org unit is 0. So he was not assigned any org unit or position. So now what we'll be doing is we'll be assigning this person to the org unit and position. So now you can see this position is 999. So when we go here, what I'll do is I will select the position because I'm assigning this person to the position and click on assign holder. Now we know the name, uh, the ID of the employee ID of the person. So we'll type it here. holder p person and the name is the employee id and the position is this which we had created hr manager today's date and his staffing percentage that that means it is a he is a full-time employee and click on save 
so I have already locked this person that is the reason it is showing this error so what I will do is I will come out of this remember this person was had been not assigned any position or unit I'm saving this record now you can see this person Navneet Mishra 400108 has been assigned to this position okay so this person comes under this of unit HR department and he is a HR manager so we'll check whether this position and our unit has been assigned to this person PA30 this is usually done while hiring an employee I'm editing this because he this organization assignment has already been created because this person is already hired in the system so now you can see in the organizational plan this person has been assigned a position HR manager this is the abbreviation and this is the full name of the position job key I had created a job as well org unit HR department this is the org unit which I had created 7875 7875 and the position 14626 14626 this is the person that is the holder so this person is the holder of this position and this position incorporates this org unit so this is how we create org structure and assign this assign a person to the org structure by simple maintenance method in organizational management my next video will be on expert mode thank you for watching this video